So it's very exciting. We today got our um, dredging permit from the uh, federal government, the Corps of Engineers, to dredge the three feet or so of polluted silt in our mangrove bayou area um, that has been uh, you know, building up for decades. And so um, we will start that work next week. In addition, uh, as a part of that work, we also need to stop the pollutants from actually entering the bayou. And so there are a number of different water quality tools that we use. One of them is through the installation of this very large baffle box, which is actually also very exciting. Um, we've got two baffle boxes that we installed in line to pre-treat all of the silt and the pollutants. And on this one, we actually installed this dome cap so that people can look down and see what's happening. But basically what happens is the, the water comes in and first goes through this cage and it traps, you can see in here, uh, plastic water bottles and plastic bags and other large debris. And then the silt drops down into these chambers and settles out. And then the water bubbles up through some filters that uh, helps pretreat other pollutants, including nitrogen and phosphorus. And then it seeps out into the bay clean. And so this is a very big project. This is about 10 foot by 12 feet uh, by 10 foot deep. It's about $350,000 each. As I mentioned, we've got a couple of them and it was made possible by a matching grant from uh, FDEP, the state of Florida. And so we're very excited to deploy this as a part of our water quality treatments at the bay. So as I mentioned previously, today we got our Corps of Engineers permit to dredge the three feet or so polluted silt out of this bayou that has been accumulating for decades. And so we're very excited about that. That work is going to begin next week. So to enable that work, we will be removing the center portion of this bridge to allow us to get a barge back up into the fingers and start uh, pumping out the polluted silt. Um, just before we do that, we'll be making the final connection of the sidewalk around the bayou. So even though the bridge will be shut down for three or four months, um, folks will be able to come enjoy the mangrove walk and walk all the way around. Um, but um, this work will take about 60 to 90 days. And once we're complete with the dredging, we'll be rebuilding this bridge and elevating it about 18 inches or so um, and rebuilding it with the sustainable materials like the Kebony hardwood um, and uh, dark sky friendly lighting and etching the decking um, inspired uh, by the flora and fauna of our environment, just like we did in the mangrove walkway area. So another very exciting thing that we're doing as a part of our phase one of the Bay Park is uh, through a generous grant by a local philanthropist, uh, we have set up a tree rescue program. And so we've worked with a local landscape contractor and he has set up this temporary um, tree nursery and we're uh, bringing um, trees from offsite, uh, offsite developments that would have normally been cut down and removed. And they are being um, relocated to this site, placed in these plastic pots and uh, with overhead irrigation and underground irrigation. And they will sit here for the next three to six months and get adjusted to their new home and then the philanthropic donation is paying for us then to relocate them into the phase one park to provide shade uh, for park goers to enjoy for uh, decades in the future.